tervist! Oleme siin rahvaraamatus, kus täna esitatakse Linda Liukase programmeerimisraamatud Eesti keeles Tere Ruubi. Ja siin samas ongi mul Linda, kes vastub kiirelt paarile küsimusele. Hello Linda! Hello! So welcome to Estonia. This is the day that your book is going to come out in Estonian. Yes. So that's, as I've heard now, the 19th translation of the book. Yes. So how has your book been received all over the world? I think the most surprising thing has been that it's, it's been received so well. There's clearly a demand all over the world in very different countries like Japan or, or Hungary or Estonia or Finland uh, to figure out different ways of, of uh, getting our kids excited about technology. So what's the new technique? How do you get kids, especially girls, excited about technology? <laughs> it's an age-old technique. It's called a storybook because when I was growing up, some of the, the most important life lessons I got were from characters and were from stories. So books like Moomin or Astrid Lindgren's books, like they really shaped the way I saw the world. And I wanted to write a storybook that would kind of have role models for little kids and introduce computational thinking concepts for kids even before they write their first line of code. And after the kids have finished the books and they're all excited about that, how do we get that concept into the classroom? So that's been one of the exciting things for me is like teachers have embraced the book quite a bit and I wrote it for uh, parents to, to work together with kids and we're definitely working on some classroom content but if I were a teacher who would use Hello Ruby in classroom I would probably try out some of the concepts in Scratch, uh, the programming, uh, visual programming language environment by MIT and, and sort of try to mimic some of the exercises in that environment. But for those who, uh, like parents and teachers uh, both, who might be a bit worried that their kids spend a bit too much tr time on screens, what would you say? I'd say that not all screen time is equal. I think there's very passive and bad things you can do with tablets, but there's also some very active and exciting and encouraging uh, things you can do. And, and maybe ask your kid what they are doing with the computer all day long and, and be engaged in the same way as you wouldn't let your kid stay in front of a TV all day or, or stay at a park all day. Don't let them be in front of a computer alone all day. Thank you and good luck.